And now, ladies and gentlemen, we ask you to please stand and remember to remove your hats. It's time for our national anthem to be sung today by Air National Guard Band of the Southwest member, home of the 146th Airlift Wing, Channel Island Air National Guard Station, California. I'll introduce Technical Sergeant Aaron McPherson. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets The pace begins to quicken. The fans are in their seats in the grandstands. The teams are ready, and the drivers soon will be. The command to start engines coming up in just a few moments. Thanks for joining us for IndyCar Central on Versus, presented by Verizon. Stay with us. We'll be back for the command and the start of this race here in Long Beach in a moment. drive in Long Beach might look like any other scenic California road. But to countless eyes on IndyCar drivers and thousands of loyal fans, it holds a deeper meaning. It's a road paved with tight turns and long straights, lined with unseeable gold that's seen its share of heroes and villains over the years. To cross the finish line first instantly embeds the winner into its compound of legends with Andretti. Tracy, Unser, and Zanardi. Will Power and Dario Franchitti are among the list of winners this road has produced before. With both drivers already seeing victory this season, Shoreline Drive now waits for their rivalry to continue. The road is ready. The 37th annual Toyota Grand Prix of Long Beach is next. It's a beautiful setting here on the shores of the Pacific Ocean in Long Beach, California. The Toyota Grand Prix of Long Beach set to go in just the next few minutes. Kind of cloudy, kind of hazy. There was some marine fog that moved in earlier, but uh, things are looking much brighter right now. Danica Patrick getting strapped into her race car. 85 laps of competition here this afternoon, a total of 167 miles of competition. lined up two by two in pit lane right now but soon they'll be moving out to take a couple of laps of warm-ups before we get to the starting flag open wheel host indianapolis has hosted open wheel racing 94 times but second on that list is right here in long beach with 27. as the booth shakes, shakes. <laughs> Pretty awesome right there. Wow. <laughs> it was a little late, but wow, that was awesome. 
That uh, that was a low flyover. <laughs> I thought was going to shake us out of the booth, <laughs> but uh, we're good uh, as far as uh, the starting of the race is concerned. It's going to be on time. Let's get out to Robin Miller with some thoughts before we get the green flag here. Boys, Paul Tracy's making his first start of the year. This is a front nose on most cars, but for Tracy, it's called the Chrome Horn, <laughs> and it's people get out of his way. And I heard Jan say earlier, Paul was going to take it easy going to the first turn. Yeah, sure he is. He ain't going to take it easy. He's going to be Paul Tracy and be aggressive. Lindy? Oriol Servia says it's great to add some blue to the front of the starting grid instead of the red cars he has been seeing for years. He is starting fourth for Newman Haas today, a team that used to dominate this place. The team has won more races at Long Beach than any other. Six. Oriol's best finish here is second in 07. He said if he and the team can combine their success stories today, they can get to the top. Marty? Lindy, race car drivers usually don't want to drive with emotion, but you can't blame Ryan Briscoe if he's a little upset as he climbs in the car right behind me. The first two races this year, he was taken out not by his own doing, by other people involving incidents here in qualifying this weekend. He was blocked during his qualifying lap after having one of the fastest cars all weekend. He will start 12th today. I talked to him moments ago before he climbed in. He said, you know, I know I have to be aggressive to get to the front from here, but I also have to be cautious. We have to remember we're 24th, 21st in the point stand. We have to have a solid day, finish on the podium. That's what we need more than anything else. Bob? And Marty, I really think that when you are at a points deficit, it just changes the way you attack. And I think that Ryan Briscoe, he knows it has to be risk versus reward, but he's got to be in attack mode. Hey, hey, Robin Miller, are you still down there? Right here, Wally. I want to start this right off the right way. You pointed out the front nose. Can you show me the rear nose? <laughs> <laughs> out of way, Wally. <laughs> hey, hey, Wally, I, I flunked out of Ball State. Cut me, some, cut me some slack, son. And we should say I was, I love you, buddy. <laughs> I was quoting Paul Tracy saying he was going to take it easy. Robin, you and I are on the same page. We do not expect that to be the case. But just Jan, here's the thing, Jan. He's got no spares. He's got that's the only nose they got. That's the only car they got. So he actually might be a tamer, gently Paul Tracy. Well, Elio Castro Nevis is ready. We're going to work on a short break here before we get the command and get this thing rolling here in Long Beach, the Toyota Grand Prix. The Toyota Grand Prix of Long Beach on Versus is brought to you by Toyota and by IZOD, the official apparel of the IZOD IndyCar Series, available at Macy's. They are on top of the roofs. They are hanging out their condominiums. They are everywhere looking for the start of the Toyota Grand Prix of Long Beach. Let's go down for the command to get this event underway. Ladies and gentlemen, your Grand Marshal Gordon Ramsay with the command at Long Beach. Ladies and gentlemen, please start your engines. 